Welcome back to Rapid Ghost. In this third section, we will configure and set up our blog using all of the options that Ghost makes available to us. By the end of this section, your blog will be fully configured and ready for some cool add-ons and themes. In this first video, we will cover everything inside of Ghost's config.js file. After that, we will set up email, keep your blog up and running, import posts from WordPress, and finally, enter in all the information relating to you and your blog. Ghost's config.js file holds important options relating to Ghost and the way that it runs. In this video, we will learn about all of the configuration options in config.js and how they can be used to ensure that our blog is running efficiently. Let's start by browsing our Ghost directory and opening up config.js. You will notice three sections which are known as environments in your config file. One for development, production, and testing. Whether you are running Ghost for development or have a live blog will determine which section will be used. Let's look through the file and learn what everything does. The first section is development. Ghost runs on the development environment by default. So if you were to run npm start, Ghost will start in the development environment. Development is geared towards development and debugging Ghost. If you are running a production blog, you will want to make sure that it is not running in the development environment. To make sure you don't start it in the development environment, you will need to start Ghost with the production flag. The config file is a JavaScript object with key value pairs. If you're not sure what that means, don't worry about it. The first option is for the URL that your blog will be located at. If you're running a development blog, this will most likely be your local host. The next option is for configuring email. We will cover this in detail in the next video. Then we have the database options. By default, Ghost uses an SQLite database. At the current time, Ghost only supports SQLite and MySQL. So if you would prefer to use a MySQL database for your blog, you can configure it right here. The server host and port are the IP address and port number that Ghost should listen on for requests. For a port number, you can use anything above 1024. Just remember that you can only have one blog running per port. As you scroll down further, you will notice that you find the same options for your production environment. Remember that if you are putting your blog online, then you should be using the production environment. There are a couple of options available that aren't included in the config file by default. The first one is update check. It takes a true or false value. By default, this option is set to true and informs you when there is a newer version of Ghost available for download. The second is file storage. It also accepts a true or false value and it is set to true by default. If you don't want to store images and other content locally on your blog, you can set this to false. You will then need to provide a URL to the files you are including in your posts instead. The testing environment is for people who are working on developing the Ghost core. You don't need to make any changes to this section. In this video, we learned about all the options and environments located in Ghost configuration file. We will go back inside of the config file in the next video to set up email for password recovery and blog subscriptions.